There is a search for a solution to a dangerous trend, a story we've been tracking for months. There's significant rises in crime, violent crime specifically across Atlanta. The latest numbers show this year murder is up 80%, aggravated assault up 47%, and auto theft, which includes carjackings, up 47%. Just this past weekend, when the NBA All-Star Game was in town, APD officers issued 318 citations. Most were for traffic violations, but some involved illegal guns and drugs. City leaders are making plans and making promises to address the jump in crime. I talked with City Council President and mayoral candidate Felicia Moore. I asked what she attributes to the spike. She pointed to the pandemic and last summer's protests over racial injustice and the turmoil within the Atlanta Police Department. Well, I believe that it has definitely, from hearing from officers, and I talked to many, and of course they would recognize and say that those incidents were the beginning of the downward swing in their morale. And that also contributed to us losing a lot of officers. Do you know how many open positions? Is there a need for more staffing even for officers on the street? Where does that stand within Atlanta police? Depending on who you talk to, we are said to be down over 400 or either 500 officers. As for solutions, Moore says the city needs to recruit more patrol officers and name a permanent police chief. You'll find our full 10 minute interview on 11alive.com and the YouTube channel. We've also reached out to Atlanta Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms and APD Interim Chief Rodney Bryant. So far, they've declined interview requests.